So to start up the instrument, you select which instrument you'd like here on the navigation panel. We're going to select HPLC2 today, so you make sure that's highlighted. You can run both instruments simultaneously, so that's nice, convenient. And then you click Launch. Uh, open Lab will open, uh, and then um, we'll get started with the software and with starting the instrument. So I'm going to open the purge valve. You'll feel it reach a point where it releases. And then I'm just going to go a little bit past that. Maybe half a turn. You don't want to unscrew this all the way. You'll get um, solvent leaking out there. So once the purge valve is open, we can turn the instrument on. Uh, the flow, the pump should begin, uh, and the flow rate is right now listed at one milliliter per minute. If you right click inside the quaternary pump box and then click method, you can change this flow rate. If the instrument hasn't been run in a while, uh, it's useful to increase the flow rate to about three milliliters per minute to get a nice uh, purge on the um, pump itself and make sure all of that uh, solvent is uh, uh, being directed to the waste. So now the purge valve is open. You should see bubbles going through the tubing leading out the side of the purge valve. If you don't see bubbles, make sure that the purge valve is open enough for that to happen. The other thing is that it, the uh, solvent could be completely in the tubing. So uh, like right now, there's no bubbles going through. Um, oh, here comes one. You know, we're gonna we're gonna purge for a little while to make sure that uh, we don't have any bubbles in any of the line, uh, in the pumps, anywhere like that. While you're purging the LC system, it's a good idea to make sure that the solvents that are being used to purge are the ones that you're going to actually use during your experiments. The ratios may not need to, don't necessarily need to be perfect, but you want to make sure that essentially that the tubing uh, from the solvent bottles that you are go going to use has been purged. Uh, so right now I'm using solvent A and C. Uh, a is water and C is methanol. Again, I'm going to right click, go to method. So you can see that A and is always going to be selected. That's our default. And then C has a checkbox. And we've got 40% C and 60% A by volume. Um, if you want to change those, you can just type in the number that you want to change to. If you want to switch to a different solvent, for instance, if you want acetonitrile, you would check box B and put in uh, the, the percentage that you want. I'm going to leave it at uh, 60 40 water and methanol right now. That's what I'm going to be using here in a little bit, so um, we'll stick with that. All right, so we've been purging for a while now. It's a good idea to purge for about 20 minutes. Before I close down the purge valve, I'm going to switch my method back to only delivering one milliliter per minute of flow. So that should change there. You should hear the quaternary pump change. It won't be clicking as fast. And now I can go ahead and close the purge valve. Not too tight, just by hand, tight enough. And now instead of the solvent going out the waste tubing, it's going uh, down through the rest of the instrument into the column. So we're going to let this flow rate uh, stabilize. We're going to make sure that the pressure is stable. Uh, and that probably will be another 5-10 minutes. Kind of just depends on how long it's been since the instrument has run.